Wake up, Tenno. Wake up. I initially tried Warframe, I think back in 2013, and back then it just didn't grasp my attention. The game wasn't fully realized yet, as I think DE were still kind of finding their direction with the game. Uh, and it didn't help that I am undoubtedly one of the most ADHD gamers out there. I jump between games every other day or every other week, and my friends can tell you that for sure. Um, but I got more interested back in the summer of 2017. Uh, it was right before Planes of Eidolong was releasing, and I played through the Second Dream and the War Within Quests, and they both were fantastic. And I jumped in Planes of Eidolon when it was released. But I soon gave it up because I was hardcore into Destiny 2 when that came out and juggling Destiny 2, Warframe, and running my business full-time was just too much of a time commitment. So I um, just stuck to the multiplayer in D2 for, the, for a few years. All right, so fast forward to 2022 and I decided to give Warframe another shot. But this time, I plan on doing it differently. I've been doing martial arts in one form or another my whole life and I currently teach Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And one thing you will always hear is to enjoy the journey. It's not about the destination in most endeavors as it is the friends, skills, knowledge, and memories that we accumulate along the way. So with that in mind, I sought out, to, I sought out a ton of Warframe lore. I, I fired up my new account after reading all that lore and getting more clarity on the story, uh, the backstory, and what was going on. Um, with a new focus on having fun versus obsessing over mid-maxing everything. Right? And holy shit, is this game good. The new opening cinematic is nothing short of breathtaking, and the fact that you can pretty much do everything you see in that trailer is spectacular. Warframe's gameplay is, is truly unique, and if I had to describe it in one word, it would be flow. The movement is some of the best in a third-person game, period. Combined with outstanding gunplay and melee combat, you truly feel like an unstoppable killing machine. That feeling, that feeling gets even better once you grind your way through the game and start adding even more options and goodies that you can aid in, to your destruction. Uh, one minute I'm bullet jumping, headshotting corpus plebs with a pistol, and then I'm sliding, slicing limbs apart. Then I'm activating my powers to debuff, buff, to debuff excuse me, enemies and finishing them off with my main weapon. Two minutes later, I'm flying around taking out targets, and then shortly after that, myself and three other friends are on a building with mechs having a standoff fighting off hordes of enemies. It's just a ton of fun. Digital Extremes have truly crafted a unique experience and at its core is, is more of a collectible game with exciting gameplay, lore, and story arcs than a traditional MMORPG. But don't let that fool you into thinking Warframe is anything but massive. There are over 14 different planets and locations, I think, that you would discover along with 21 different mission types, and I believe it's more than that now um, that you can do. And I'm talking from ground combat to air combat to space combat with multi-crew ships. There's a lot to discover here. And I think one of the biggest hurdles for new players is just how much is in this game. There is a ton of things to do and learn in this game from combat to crafting, companions, upgrading your gear. Now, I found myself on YouTube so many times during my play sessions trying to figure out a certain thing, what a certain thing was or how to do an activity or ideas on building or, um, or, or leveling up with, a stand, with my standings for certain organizations, things like that. These kind of things can turn a lot of people off, but I thoroughly enjoyed playing a game with enough complexity that I had to take the time and learn how things worked. Uh, it, it felt good because normally in less, most games you just chase an objective markers. So it felt good to invest some time into a game to kind of learn how it went. And uh, that was very rewarding in the end. I could play the game at my own pace too, which was fantastic. I could pick it up, put it down whenever I wanted. I never felt rushed, which is great. 
And if you think the gameplay is good, just wait. If you can stick with it, Warframe has one of the most memorable story arcs and quests of any game I have ever played. Digital Extremes are masterful at infusing music, sound design, and surprising twists and turns with an emotionally charged narrative into unforgettable quests. The Chain Gang Anthem of Fortuna when you first go in, for instance, or the rap, tap, tap. One quest that really pulled in my heart because I have a son with autism and I can relate to a large degree what the character was dealing with and how they perceive the world. Also, burned in my brain is the image of another character on his knees beside a tree, holding his head in his hands, consumed with pain and guilt over a tragedy that befell him, being forced to relive that nightmare over and over again. I haven't touched, even touched on the main story arc yet, for good reasoning. If you have never played the second dream quest, do not let anyone spoil that for you. That quest is in my top three for mind fucking surprises in gaming ever. Playing through those second Playing through those quests the second time around made them even better with my greater understanding thanks to time invested in the game's lore. DE have the game looking great right now with enhancements to the engine and improvements to the game's environments. I have an RTX 3070 running the game in DirectX 12 on maxed out settings at 1440p. I'm pushing my FPS, yeah, it's a constant 144. It may dip occasionally, but not much. And I think most of that has to do with network latency or issues when I join a game with a poor host. The art style can be a bit much for some people, but it grows on you over time. Um, and playing through the New War quest line this past week brought this game to a whole new level for me. Rarely in gaming do you get to play through a story arc with literally a decade in the making with such a great presentation and the lasting consequences of your choices afterwards. Simply fantastic. I think my only real complaints are the AoE meta is a bit on the boring side, which is why I usually kit my character for single target damage, and I try to use my aim and my good reflexes versus just spamming AOE weapons to grind. My other complaint would probably be that grind, which can be a bit much for some players. Me personally, I thought it helped me feel more invested in the world once I hit the New War qu new war quest line. I, If I hadn't grinded through areas like Eidolon and Fortuna, I'm not sure that I would have cared as much as I did for what was going on later in the quest lines. That being said, a lot of my grinding was me working hard versus working smart. With, with knowledge and proper help, most things aren't too difficult to grind out as long as RNG Jesus is on your side for a decent amount of time. My final complaint would be that the occasionally shitty tactics by DE to get you to spend in game real money on in-game currency. Time gating the manufacturing process so hard and having to use platinum for slots can be annoying. However, that being said, they've made a wonderful game and I can easily pay AAA game money to support a game because I know they keep pumping out new and exciting content. This game is technically free and you can most certainly play through the game without spending anything and I highly recommend not purchasing Warframes or weapons with real money as grinding is a big chunk of this game and it feels more rewarding when that frame that you are grinding all those parts for is finally finished and waiting for you in the foundry. That being said, I did spend money on boosters, extra slots for my frames and weapons. They're very helpful. Um, I did also spend platinum to speed up my Necromex production because I wanted to play the new war before my vacation was over with. But in closing, I cannot recommend this game enough. This game, it, it's not an easy journey by any stretch of the imagination, but nothing worth doing ever really is, is it? You really will be challenged and you will need to go outside of the game at times to find help or clarity. But if you can handle all that, you will be treated by some great gameplay and incredible story along with one of the most amazing communities out there.